Your Mac has a new software update starting today, which is macOS 15.5. And in this video, I'm happy to show you all the new features and changes that this update has to offer. Under system settings, if you go to where it says screen time, there's now a fix for this section that allows parents to receive notifications when the screen time passcode has been used on a child's device. This change carries over into the latest iOS version as well, 18.5. And this could be when some Someone is maybe trying to input multiple screen time passcode in order to find the right one to disable it so if you are a parent or guardian or you have a device that you have screen time set for you'll be able to get the notification when a screen time passcode has been input into that device under the Apple email application that you see right here they've actually made a slight change so this was existing where you can quickly show mail categories from this section without having to go into the top menu bar and right here you can see you now have the ability to see all mail and if you select any of the other subsections such as primary or transactions or updates and even promotions you can see there's a hint or a quick clue that there's another subcategory that you can select there which is all mail and this will help you not to miss emails because there were a lot of complaints for users that were enabling mail categories and because of that they were missing some mails so apple has made a change by adding this you know picking section that you can see right there and you can select it and be able to see all mail and it seems like with this update besides the primary tab if you go to any other subsection such as the transactions updates and promotions you'll be able to see a quick description of what that subcategory is and you'll see what it meant for and you can always switch and if you double click on it like this it will always revert to the all mail as you can see right here if you use a browser that contains an inbuilt VPN, my favorite browser and main one that I use is Safari. You can see the version that ships with macOS 15.5, the one that I'm on right now. But if you had a browser such as like believe Opera Mini is one of them and you know my secondary browser is Chrome but some browsers have inbuilt VPNs which were actually broken with the previous macOS update but now after you update to macOS 15.5 you can then continue to use your VPNs inside your browsers and the issue that caused the VPNs not to work has been resolved with this update. If we go back into the Apple Mail application there's another minor change that has been enabled right there if you click on the option you can see apple has added the option to show contact photo if you enable it you can see all these pictures that now show up right there so apple made it more readily accessible and it doesn't actually take a lot of clicks just two clicks to be able to enable contact photo or to disable it right here and you can see the different contact pictures of those in your inbox if you have people or organizations in your inbox that have pretty cool pictures you'll be able to see their contact photos right there and it's a quick way to enable this by going into this option here as opposed to going into the top sub menus to try and enable it macOS 15.5 also fixes an issue for the pro display calibrator where customizing display calibration using the pro display calibrator itself would cause certain macbook devices and those that were affected were actually the 14 inch and 16 inch macbook MacBook Pro and the the issue was pretty severe that it would cause the system to reboot so if that was an issue you were experiencing I'm happy to let you know that that has been resolved if you're experiencing some issues with certain mice that were not operating properly without using mouse glide then I'm happy to let you know at least from the testing and from some users that have reached out seems like Apple has resolved the majority of issues that affected certain mice and now they work properly without having to first run mouse glide. Even though this update doesn't actually introduce any new wallpapers when it comes to the pictures, the last one that we got was this one. I really don't like the way it makes my screen look when I select it like this but if you were experiencing issues when it comes to the colors, these solid colors that you see right there, you can see you know the issue seems to have been resolved and at the same time 
for certain users there was still an issue when they try and create a custom color where apple would actually make the display go dark so you can see now you can select the opacity of the color right there and like more of the gradient as well and it won't affect the display the color will continue to show and you can shift into the other different color segments and you can see here that the display is not going dark or blank and that issue seems to have been resolved at this point in time under system preferences when you go to where it says general and apple care and warranty this page still takes a little bit of time to load i think maybe this depends on the number of devices you might have but you can see when it comes to this page apple seems to have made a further change by actually changing the font and text before we used to have this page show something that was bold and bulky maybe i'll put it on the screen this is how it actually looked during the beta testing phases of this update but now when i go into general and apple care and warranty you can see how this page looks it seems to have been reverted to its default and now instead of having a big and bulky title you can see it's just like a small panel that has been put on top of the apple care and warranty pane but then when we click on a certain device info you can see that this page has actually retained some of the changes when it comes to the font and just generally the way the apple care and warranty information is laid out for certain devices which is pretty good and it's a one-stop area to go and be able to see your warranty information during the beta testing phases of this update there was an issue that affected a lot of users with where different applications would actually crash whether it was third party or actual apple default apps there was an issue that would cause them to crash but at this point in time it seems like the majority of applications have been updated and now are more stable with this version one of the things i do recommend after you update is is to go into your app store and see if there's any applications that are available to update to make them more compatible with this new update and i typically did that after updating my device and i'm happy to let you know that yes i haven't seen any issues and another change i wanted to let you know that i saw is that there's a slight update to the developer application right here this is the apple developer you can see the version i'm on and at some point we actually had a new splash screen that told us what's new when it comes to the developer and they highlight wwdc right there if you're experiencing an issue whereby you would go into your apple intelligence and siri and and try and enable this feature and you see a pop-up that says it's downloading system resources or apple intelligence models or stuff along those lines i'm happy to let you know that when you restart your device that issue doesn't seem to be something that will reappear so apple might have solved this for the majority of devices that have apple intelligence and i haven't experienced it since i updated my mac when it comes to finder there's also a fix where finder network shares containing large amounts of data are incorrectly enumerated which has been resolved so if you have a large finder network and you are connected across a vast majority of devices that have large files now your data should be correctly enumerated according to the release page of this update apple mentions that this update includes enhancements bug fixes and security updates for your mac which is more of like an umbrella term so one of the things that i like to do after updating is just to check the apple security page to see those resolved issues and security patches for example you can see with the previous version apple had released you know a bunch of cve entries right there some to do with apple airplay some audio impacts and you can see there was a long list of cve entries that apple basically patched to make your mac operating system more secure so do check this page out it's a publicly available page to see what apple has patched when it comes to the apple security releases for mac os 15.5 alongside this public release of mac os 15.5 apple also released these other operating systems that you see on the screen which i do cover here on the channel so if you want to stay up to date do hit like and subscribe so that you stay updated 
just to keep you in the loop there's a couple new games that are coming in june 5 to your devices and those of course since this video is about mac os you can see that these are also going to be available on ipad iphone mac apple tv among others and some of those games that you can see right there you can see we have uno arcade edition and we have another one lego hill climb adventure plus we have um, another game that you can see the helix jump so you can always visit the apple newsroom website to be able to see and read more on those new apple arcade games that are coming to your mac pretty soon just for reference and to know which version i'm on if i go into the storage right here and go all the way down you can see mac os itself is taking 0.72 gigs and if i click on the more info tab this is the build number that i'm on and apple intelligence is taking 11.59 gigs which is pretty accurate and average for me when it comes to my 14 inch macbook pro i've been testing this update from the first beta up to the official release so the next one is probably going to be mac os 15.6 we might get it a few days from now and i'll be covering it here not that we expect to see a lot since on june 9th we are expecting mac os 16 so those i will also be covering here i will try I be brief because I have a lot going on but other than that that's about it for me if you like this video hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next macOS video peace